my name is Damien and I'm the Chief Operating Officer of the Benjamin Barker Group. Benjamin Barker is a, is a design company and we are in the retail and F&B trade. We offer male apparels, so we design and we manufacture our shirts and our suits. We wanted a brand that had international appeal. Singaporean shoppers always, we always look to the West, we always look to international brands to inspire us. Right from the start, it was very intentional that the name had to sound very English. Something associated with shirt makers, menswear, and not very Asian sounding. If we had created an Asian brand, it would be very difficult to market. The perception of the shopper would be different. The perception of the brand would be different. The Benjamin Barker brand conjures up great value. So for us, whenever we create something, we always have to look at the three guiding principles of the brand. The first guiding principle is experience. Uh, store experience and customer experience. The second is V, value. We are always looking at how we can add value to our customers and then our people. And last but not least, we always look at empathy. We are known in the industry as a brand that uh, gives value to the customers. And we work very hard to maintain these prizes so that we can offer more value for our customers. The brand guideline was developed about five years ago because we felt that the stores were not consistent. At that time, 2013, uh, there were only four stores. So it was easy to manage the store. But as we grew, we realized that we needed some form of consistency in the store so that people could recognize that it was a Benjamin Barker store. And what turns Benjamin Barker out from the rest of the other retail store is actually the store experience. It's put down on paper into that brand guide so that our partners can actually replicate it in their own respective countries. When we started the store, we call it the assembly store, which is like an assemblage of products. And then two years down the road, we call it the B store. Today, we, we realize that our customers still do not understand what is the B store. Who are the people behind the B store? So we finally came to a decision to rebrand the store as the Benjamin Barker Lifestyle Store to leverage on the goodwill that the brand has accumulated over the years. Personally, the biggest lesson that I've learned from this journey is actually to protect the brand. If you look at it in totality, the most important component of the business is actually the brand. And if we don't protect the brand, we feel that, that there is nothing much we could do if somebody else comes in and replicate it 